Glove boxes come in a variety of shapes and sizes. If your group has a specialist glove box, you'll be taught how to use it within your group. This primer will deal how to use a commonly found glove box within the University of Southampton. Most of the functions of this glove box are controlled using this control panel. First, turn on the light. Next, fill in the logbook, writing your initials, the date, the time at which you enter the glove box, the type of antechamber you're using, in this case the small one. To use the antechamber, first ensure the pressure gauge reads room pressure, or zero. Then ensure the valve is closed. Open the antechamber by unscrewing and twisting anti-clockwise. Place the items to be put into the glove box inside the antechamber. Close the lid by twisting clockwise and then screwing back up again. Make sure it is screwed up hand tight. Any further might damage the antechamber. To depressurize the antechamber, twist the valve anti-clockwise. Do this slowly as some of your samples, such as slink tubes, may explode. Wait until the antechamber is fully depressurized. and then refill to about halfway. Repeat this process three times before finally filling it back up to room pressure. Each time you put the antechamber under vacuum it's probably a good idea to leave it for about five minutes. Next, on the control panel, turn off the circulation as this can affect the balance. Now we should demonstrate glove box entry. First ensure you've removed all rings, jewellery and watches as this may cause tearing. Ensure you wear gloves as it keeps it clean for the next user and also prevents any tearing from fingernails. First, insert your left hand guided with your right. It sometimes helps to wiggle your fingers slightly. Pull the glove down to your wrist and then insert your right hand. This part can be quite tricky. Then push both hands forward into the glove box, not too fast. Once inside the glove box, rearrange it so the gloves are comfortable and you have full dexterity. Remove your items from the antechamber by unscrewing, twisting anti-clockwise and picking them out of the chamber. Make sure you replace the lid as this helps keep a good seal. If you have a spillage in the glove box, ensure you clean it up using pre-dried tissue. Sometimes a small piece of grease will help the tissue pick up whatever powder it is you've spilled. Make sure you transfer it to an appropriate waste receptacle. Once finished in the glove box, remove your materials from the antechamber, ensuring you have closed the inner door. Return on the circulation and turn off the light. Remember to note down the time of exit and the condition of the glove box.